Thank you for watching my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Pluto in the 10th house. So what is Pluto? Pluto is the part of us that is about death, obsession, control, our deepest transformations as well as rebirth. It is passion, jealousy, primal wounds, raw sexuality and sensuality. It is being in limbo. It is the urge to penetrate to the core of experience. It is paranoia, other people's resources. Basically cleanses and regenerates through drawing out our hidden or wounded side uh, by bringing that to the surface. Anything that Pluto touches, it intensifies, it adds intrigue, and also this is an unconscious part of us within our charts. So what is the 10th house? The 10th house is the most elevated point in our chart. This is anything in the 10th house is really stands out. It is physical manifestation. It's how the public or society views us. It is when we are basically separated from our parents, we are mature and how we are now being recognized as ourselves in society, how we are contributing to society. This could be through our career. This could just be through our public image. The 10th house is also where we wanna be admired and respected. It is where we attain achievements and recognition. It is how we wanna be remembered and our legacy. It's our career. It's also our mother and father it goes along with the parental, you know, fourth, 10th house um, access where, and it really depends on, you know, who is your more um, forming parent. If that was your mom, then the 10th house could represent your mom. If that was your, your dad, that could be, that could represent your dad. It's basically how, when we grew up, we viewed, you know, the container which our parents held us in. The 10th house is how we put society in a container, what, what that looks like to us later on in life. The 10th house can also be where we can fulfill aspects of our life that our parents weren't able to fulfill for themselves. It's not as if they are living through us, it's almost as if we are fulfilling something for them in what we do um, in a public way. It is also how we use our talents to serve or influence society as a whole. And it's basically our status and place within the world. Pluto in the 10th house. You are someone who is viewed publicly and recognized as a very intense, powerful, influential person. And this may be something that doesn't come immediately to you, but definitely you will experience in your life, probably more later in life, where you will be someone that really stands out to other people. If your Pluto was negatively aspected, this could signify whoever your shaping parent was. Um, if it was your mother, she may have been someone who was dark or threatening to you growing up, someone who possessed a great power over you, who made you feel small and powerless. And um, this could also have been your father. So if your father, you consider your father more of the forming parent, then it could be your father. He was intimidating, he was threatening, he seemed to possess powers that you would never yourself be able to possess, someone that you felt unsafe with, someone that you were not able to trust even as a small child. If your Pluto was positively aspected or mostly positively aspected, your parent could have also been a source of inspiration and strength for you. They themselves, any kind of traumas, tribulations, um, hardships that they went through, maybe they went through many um, of these growing up. They actually 
turned out okay. They kind of came out stronger and they have served throughout your life as an inspiration that anything that comes your way, you will also, like your parents, be able to overcome and succeed. Society and power may come with mixed feelings for you. On one hand, you may be someone who prefers to withdraw from society altogether. Maybe you're someone who likes to live off grid um, and keep just a small circle of friends that doesn't really feel comfortable being in, in everyday society and kind of being um, someone in control or someone with a, an authoritative type of position over society or a group of people that's just not something that you're interested in you would rather just completely withdraw or on the other hand you may be someone who craves power and influence over others this may make you feel safe you know, knowing that you are in control, that you are the person with power. If you're in the position of a boss or any kind of authoritative role, this is something that you may even obsess about. And once again, this comes from an early childhood feeling of feeling small, feeling powerless. Those parental figures overpowering you is still something that may be affecting you. And it's very important for you to be aware of this possibility and to you know allow that healing process to begin where just knowing where it's coming from that you are not a small person that you are a capable person and that it was the way you were treated or the way that you perceived that you were being treated that is the actual cause of that wound now you're going to talk about Pluto in the 10th, your relationship with authority figures. Um, you are someone who may not love authority figures. You do not love anyone telling you what to do, how to think or what to believe. Um, kind of similar to the Pluto in the 9th, but on a more large scale manner. You could be someone, depending on your placements, this isn't always, but someone who maybe really has a distrust for society or the government and be publicly open about this. Someone who maybe, you know, believes that the government is out to harm others or to cause issues. And I'm not saying whether this, you're right or wrong or, you know, because, um, you know, people's beliefs are their beliefs, but this could be something with an underlining obsession because Pluto here, no matter what your beliefs are, can cause a very almost obsessive disbelief or untrusting manner towards society. It could be also a corporation, the corporation that you maybe work in where you don't really feel safe. You don't trust your boss. You don't trust anyone who has any kind of strings or authority over you. Pluto in the 10th could also mean that you go through many transformations within your career. You may start out in a, in a career and are very sec successful in you know, I don't know, um, architecture. And one day there is a loss there where you may lose your job or decide to quit and you kind of have to rebuild from scratch. You start over. And at that point you could start a whole new career and also be successful in that. But there could be kind of just like extreme dips or changes within your career throughout your life. In some circumstances, Pluto in the 10th, you may struggle with, at first, early on in life, finding a career that feels meaningful to you, as well as a public influence or recognition from society that really feels satisfying to you. There may be a deep wound or insecurity that whatever you do, maybe it's not being recognized in a way that you would like it to be, or you know everything that you try to do it doesn't quite turn out the way that you thought it would as far as a career as far as trying to 
find recognition, at least at first. With this placement, with Pluto in the 10th, because the 10th house, the natural rulers are Capricorn and Saturn, and then with Pluto, which can sometimes bring blockages or kind of trials and tribulations onto our path wherever it's placed, there can be not necessarily where, where you will fail, but there could be a point where it could just take a really long time to get to where you where you want to be as far as um, publicly or as well as your career where it's just kind of a very slow maybe a slow but very steady kind of rise um, in in those paths for you but you definitely have the potential to be extremely successful as long as you keep on your path and don't allow any setbacks to slow you down. Just keep on keeping on. And that's kind of the lesson with Saturn, right? With, you know, and Pluto is maybe even throughout your life, time, your relationship with time will change and grow in more positive ways and how you view time and the use of that within your personal life. There are a few important people in my life who have Pluto in the 10th house that I wanted to use as examples for you guys so that maybe you can get um, a better understanding of what Pluto in the 10th house might look like. These examples are my dad who has Pluto in the 10th house and my husband who also has Pluto in the 10th house. So for my dad, he is someone who is definitely well known. He was, um, a diver, a famous diver. He dove for abalones and lobsters, and um, he was also a fisherman. He now lives in Cabo. Um, he has a house in Cabo, and he's like off-grid living, and he's got like solar panels, and he's that cool guy, you know, that drinks a beer on the beach every day and goes fishing and like makes dinner and like literally built his house with his own hands kind of thing, where you can see how with Pluto in the 10th, that could be very amazing. That's someone who really stands out to his circle or to society. They're like, wow, you know, like that's like living the dream. Um, so he does have a square with Pluto to his Mercury and there is an obsession with my dad with, you know, kind of secluding himself. He just like wants to live off grid, you know, he doesn't want, other people to move into the neighborhood or for it to get crowded. And he has a very deep um, distrust of any kind of government structure, um, as well as an obsession with conspiracy theories. And once again, I'm not saying that these are bad in any way, but the underline is it is a little obsessive. And so, you know, with Mercury square Pluto, this is where that can kind of show up. And he's very public about it. So, so my husband, he is, um, his family was from Nicaragua and they left during the Civil War. His parents basically just packed up and they came here with nothing, um, started from scratch and they built their way up. His dad ended up being successful, having a nice house for them and basically teaching him that he can also, you know, carve his own path. He can be successful, you know, he just has to put in the hard work and my husband has worked extremely hard and he's had that slow, steady growth, but it's been steady and it's been growing, you know, and now he has a successful career and that is going great. And his parents are more of an inspiration to him. So I hope that helps to give you guys a better idea of Pluto in the 10th, how it can work in positive ways and how it, it may hold us back in some ways. Pluto in the 10th, I just wanna leave this by saying that you guys are extremely capable of great success within society. You are someone who could excel in careers such as, you know, working in the government, being a secret agent, being a detective, being a crime scene investigator, being a psychologist. And let's see, um, anything with, within the occult sciences, metaphysical studies. You could also be someone who is you know, someone who influences changes within society in a great way, kind of someone who could just build an empire out of nothing. You know, you could move to a foreign country and build a little community and, 
you know, someone who can just go out there and be a, an amazing entrepreneur where other people may not have that, that vision or intensity or the ability to transform through the trials and tribulations and just not give up, not stop the hard work that it takes to get there. And so it's just very important with Pluto in the 10th, you remember that you really need to focus your energy in a constructive and positive way. And other than that, the sky is the limit for you guys. And I think that this is, this is a very powerful placement, very powerful, very, you know, physical manifesting kind of placement. And yeah, you guys, you guys are going to be successful. Just hang in there and keep it positive. All right, so this is my interpretation of Pluto in the 10th house. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe and leave any comments below on your personal experiences with Pluto in the 10th house. And I hope to see you very soon. Thank you so much.